is going to be a short video on how to use the enlarger timers in the Gang Darkroom. Uh, this is one of two style of enlarger timers in this darkroom. Uh, it's the Grab Lab 450. It's a digital model. The, the other ones we have are analog, and I'll show you that in a different video. When you come into the space, if you have um, this timer at your station, you will turn it on by switching the switch here at the top. When you come in, it should be off. Um, so you switch it on, it comes on, you know it's operating when the screen lights up and you get your numbers there. Um, across the top we have five buttons. These three buttons on the right hand side simply control the brightness of your screen. So right now it's on high and that's where it should be. But you could dim it down and I guess you could also shut it off if you need to. Uh, but it should always be on high. When you come in and you turn it on, if you don't happen to see the numbers here, just double check that someone hasn't accidentally turned off the screen on you. And just turn it back to high. The other two buttons on the left hand side of the device uh, is broken up into seconds and tenths of seconds. Right now we're set on tenths of seconds and what that does is it places a decimal point between these two digits and that corresponds to these two knobs. So the right hand knob now controls tenths of seconds. So that is set for half a second. The left hand knob controls actual seconds, so the enlarger right now is set up to turn on and expose for three and a half seconds. When I know the enlarger time I need to expose my image, I'll set the time I need. We'll say it's three and a half seconds. Once it's set, you simply go down here and hit the start button. It turns the enlarger on, the light comes on, and exposes for three and a half seconds. If I switch this button now over to seconds, it removes the decimal point and I've gone from three and a half seconds down to 35 seconds. So if this is for if you need really long exposures. And I can go all the way up to 99 seconds for that exposure. I don't want to expose for that long because it will make the video last forever. I'm going to change it back to a tenth of a second and change it back here to three seconds. On the bottom now, there's another set of five uh, buttons. The three on the left control the metronome. It just says metro, and this lets, simply sends out a, a beep as it counts down. And I'll just show you what it sounds like. It's pretty jarring uh, and a little bit unnecessary. So as a rule, we just keep that off. Um, again, these sometimes get turned on accidentally, but if they come on and it's beeping, you just have to click off and it will turn that off. On the left-hand side here, there's two buttons under, oh, let control. Uh, on the right it says time and on the left here it says focus. When I'm set on time this is set up as a timer. So right now there's no light on but my timer is set for three seconds. If I shift this to focus the light comes on and stays on constantly. You're going to use the focus function for when you're putting your negative in, when you're focusing your negative and working on it that way. Um, I'm going to turn it back to timer. I'm set for three seconds. If I happen to click it here to 30 seconds and say I hit this button, but I really just wanted to expose for three seconds, you don't have to wait for this timer to all go down. The start reset button also resets the timer. I just have to hit the button again and it stops, it cancels the, the timing and the light goes off. Um, that's pretty much all there is to this timer. It's very straightforward. When you're done working with it, all you have to do is turn it off and it turns off the power to the whole enlarger. 